So you were telling us about lactic acid and how it um, feeds cancer cells and because of the lack of oxygen? Uh, yeah, anything that causes a lack of oxygen or excessive irritation and, and stimulating to the point of fatigue uh, will produce an excess of lactic acid. But Just then, like when you run too long and you get stitches in your side? Um, yeah, and, and lactic acid uh, uh, produces an imbalance in the electrons. It, uh, it, it uh, takes up some electrons to be formed, but in the process, that increases the uh, alkalinity inside the cell and uh, uh, in several ways creates a vicious circle of uh, uh, more electrons, actually, than it can take up. And one way that the uh, cancer cell tries to return to normal is to use some of those excess electrons that can't be consumed by converting pyruvic acid to uh, lactic acid is to use them in synthesizing fat. So interestingly, uh, the cancer cell turns on the enzymes that synthesize fat as a way to drain away more electrons. And then as oxygen becomes available, the respiratory process will burn fat. And so the cancer cell is eating all the sugar it can get and tearing down the tissue of the body uh, to use amino acids uh, in, in place of glucose when that's deficient mm -hmm. and converting uh, the uh, energy from glycolysis, either uh, amino acids or glucose, converting that to fat and then oxidizing the fat with whatever oxygen it has. And oxidizing fat is... Uh, less efficient last in terms resort. of oxygen use, so it, it adds to the problem of oxygen deficiency. Is this where the myth comes in, where you hear a lot of people say, oh, sugar feeds cancer? Uh, well, yeah, Is actually, this uh, cancer uh, sugar, eats sugar? sugar deprivation <laughs> turns on the Warburg effect, turns on the stress reaction. And, and makes the lactic acid and makes the cancer cells. Yeah. So and, it's actually the opposite, shifts, folks. 